we need to get the client numb so it's a comfortable treatment and they don't feel anything. So the manufacturer's description recommends using a very small amount and waiting for up to 45 minutes. Ain't nobody got time for that, right? So I'm gonna show you my trick for speeding up numbing and getting your client numb within about 10 minutes. So I use a pretty generous amount. As you can see here, the amount of numbing cream I use will get you about three to four uses out of one tube. However, you can work more sparingly. Um, the numbing process may just take a little bit longer. You're going to massage this into the skin everywhere you're going to be working, everywhere that you have already cleansed. Make sure you get their ears if you're going to be treating that area. Now, always numb the lips. I'm going to have you smack them together. Perfect. We are definitely going to treat the lips so we get a nice lip plump. Yay. Yes, that's the best part. Everybody loves the lip plump. Now, for activating the numbing cream, because we want this to work within 10 minutes, not 45. So, the Saluma Pro, which we do offer a discount code for all CIT pen providers. We are distributors of Saluma Pro, and we offer a $100 discount to all CIT pen device owners. So, you'll cover your client's eyes power on the Saluma and click the mode down to aches and pains. This is near infrared light. You always want to make sure you're working with pulsed light because pulsed light is absorbed into the skin much better than full on light. Hit start and let your client sit with the Saluma on for about 10 minutes. Check in with them after that and make sure they're numb. Most people will have the numbing effect happen in their lips first. Some clients may say that it feels like they're drooling <laughs> and that's okay too. I like to just let them know you might feel um, very loose and relaxed and that's quite all right. So the near infrared light from the Saluma Pro is going to help push in the numbing cream deeper into the skin. The near infrared light works deep enough to enable us to get more efficacy of that numbing cream. And after about 10 minutes, you're going to remove the Saluma and get started with treatment. And you know, the great thing about Zenza numbing cream, one of the reasons why we chose to distribute this lidocaine is because it's safe to use on torn and broken skin. So for example, say you start the treatment and your client loses numbing. You're more than welcome to go ahead and add more, let them re-numb, rinse it off, and then go ahead and move forward with treatment. Now, if you want to make sure your client is extra numb even after using the Saluma on the near-infrared setting, after you do the nano eye lift, you can use that same nano cartridge to infuse the numbing. So you're just going to do a few quick passes just to make sure that product is infused, still pulling the skin taut. And this is also going to help stimulate blood flow circulation so that we can reach our end point more quickly when we move on to microneedling. My lips are numb. Oh, that's a good sign. Yeah, the lips are usually the first place we feel numbing and this extra step just really makes um, it a comfortable treatment process. We don't want you to feel your face throughout this. And before we start needling, I'm just going to remove this numbing cream from the skin. I've seen some people use alcohol wipes to remove the numbing cream from the skin, and that is totally fine. Um, my philosophy 
is that we should avoid alcohol because it is a sensitizing harsh ingredient and it does dry out the skin. So instead, I like to rinse and go in with another cleanse if needed. All right, remove that numbing cream with cleanser. Make sure you've removed everything from the skin as much as possible. All right, we're ready to start microneedling.